Hello, everyone. This is Jay Dobbins, your host of the Marvel DC Universe Fan Club. We are now at episode 44, and I'll be uh, giving my review on Spider-Man Homecoming. So, spoiler alert, if you have not seen the Spider-Man Homecoming film, I strongly advise you not to listen to this episode. All right, you guys have been warned. So, I saw uh, Spider-Man Homecoming the other night. Uh, they had a special screening. I must say, it was good. I give it a 95%. So, not 100%, but 95%. So, <clears throat> it was good. And the good thing about this film is that you know, there was no origin story. We already know how Peter Parker became Spider-Man, so, you know, no need for that. And yes, we know Uncle Ben got, his Uncle Ben got killed uh, by the same guy he let go, but uh, caught later on. So, of course, I'm, I believe that he was a, the guy that killed Uncle Ben, is the first criminal that Spider-Man apprehended, so... I'm getting, of course, you know, that happened in the mainstream. Matter of fact, that, ha that happened in the comic books, period. So I'm guessing that's what happened in the Spider Man, in the, Mar the Marvel Cinematic Universe version of Spider Man. So, because they didn't go through all that, you know, like they did in Amazing Spider Man and the first Spider Man, you know, film with Tobey Maguire. You know, they didn't go through the, oh, yeah, he got bit by a spider. Um,. He, you know, the same guy he let go, uh, you know, kill his uncle, you know, that type of person, you know, that, yeah, that type of thing. So they had to worry about that. So he just stuck on, you know, it was all, it was all relevant since we all know the origin story. But uh, oh, so what happened is, um, in the beginning. You know, he recorded the events that took place in the Captain America Civil War film. He took video selfies, you know, and he, what, so he was talking uh, while doing video selfies. And then when Tony said, on the roof or whatever it was, that was his cue to take Captain America's shield and, of course, introduce himself. So, and then later on, after the events of Captain America... Civil War, he took uh, he took another video selfie bragging about, you know, fighting the Avengers alongside, oh well, sorry, Cap, fighting Captain America and his allies alongside with Iron Man. And then of course, you know, Happy Hogan, played by John Favreau, uh, kind of ruined the moment. So, yeah, <laughs> by interrupting the video selfie. But uh, later on, uh, let's see what happened in the beginning. Oh yeah, uh, he wanted he was you know he was in the limo with Tony. You know he dropped him off to his Queen's apartment, and uh, let's see what else. Oh yeah, you know he was telling he was talking about wanting to become Avenger, and he said that oh this is the first step. And he said, this is the little area where you, you know, where you don't come in. And this is, the, you know, this is the area where you come in. So he said, don't do anything I would do. And most importantly, don't do anything I wouldn't do. So he was reaching for the door for so you can, get, you know, he was reaching for the door to open it so he can get out. So, but uh, Peter Parker thought, oh, yeah, you know, he's giving him a hug. He's like, oh, it's not a hug. I'm just getting the door for you. <laughs> so, um. So you know that. So after that went on, he waited several months. Um, you know, hadn't got no word. So uh, you know, still waiting. Oh, and then oh, the Vulture, um, played by Michael Keaton, or uh, sorry, the Vulture's real name is Adrian Toomes, played by Michael Keaton. Um, there was a scene that took place during the events in the Avengers film where New York was torn apart and they were cleaning up, you know, Michael Keaton hired his own cleanup crew and then Tony Stark's crew came in and kind of 
interfered with their work, saying that okay, this is the this is our site. Um, ain't you know stop what you're doing. Anything that you have found, you leave here, or anything you picked up, leave here. This is now property of Tony Stark or whatever. So, Vulture, uh, Adrian Toomes, also known as Vulture, was pretty upset about it. You know, he bought some trucks. Uh, he paid. You know, he was paying the crew for the for trying to, you know, clean up all the alien all the alien scrap and stuff like that that was left behind during the, uh, you know, after the events of the uh, Avengers film. So he was upset about that, and then he thought, hey, you know, everything's on the line. My house, everything like that, you know, I'm doing this for my family. And it turns out there was, a, you know, there was they were, somebody else ran, well, I guess one of his crew ran across a truck with a scrap of alien technology with a bunch of whatever those things are, little purple stones or crystals or whatever it is they found. Uh, so, and then eight years later, eight years later, they've been stealing alien technology, scrap metal to have, to make inventions or uh, weapons. So that's, that's how they were making their money and building, you know, a little empire of their own. And they were doing good until Spider-Man came along. So, uh, but, you know, oh, sorry. But yeah, back to Peter Parker. But I'm just going by how, you know, that's how the vulture, you know, started. But, yeah, he used that alien technology to create his own weapon, his little wings that, you know, my, you know the vulture would use to fly. So, but anyway, back to Peter Parker. So, um, of course, you know, the film's more diverse. You know, you have a Flash Thompson who's, I think, I think East Indian, and he had his buddy Ned. Which I think who is in the new uh, Spider-Man comic books, of course, and you have Michelle, of course, um, you know some weird chick, and then you have, uh, dang, I cannot remember that girl's name, but she's a, uh, you know Peter, but she's Peter Parker's high school crush, so, and then oh yes. Um, there were some videos playing during gym class where I guess videos of Captain, you know, Captain America, of course, you know, I guess giving people advice or whatever. So, and of course the gym coach made a joke about him now being a war criminal, (laughs) that type of thing. People were laughing about that. So yeah, some little video cameos done by, you know, Chris Evans also known as play, who plays Captain America. Oh yes, and there was a Stan Lee cameo too. Uh, he was in one of the apartment buildings saying, "Hey, you don't do you? You better not make me come down there, punk." You know that type of thing. Okay, so anyway, um, yes, he's fighting. So he's fighting crime. He's fighting purse snatchers, bike st- bike thieves, car thieves, uh, that type of thing. And then later on, he runs across bank robbers who are using. The little technology that Vulture and his crew were selling to those people, and those guys were wearing Avengers masks and stuff like that. So he fought them for a little bit, and I guess one of them had the best of them. Uh, you know, they were knocking off banks and stuff like that. But um, yeah, you know, he tried. St- I guess he did stop them for a little bit, and then almost blew up half of a city block with that technology. And then, um, oh yes, Ned knows, of course, as you've seen in the trailer, Ned knows the true identity of Spider-Man. So, uh, yeah, he's been fighting crime on his own to the point to uh, where Iron Man comes in and, you know, decides, okay, you know, he wants to suit back because he didn't do what he was supposed to do. So I guess he interfered um, somehow. And he was like, you know, without the suit, you know, he's like, I wanted to be like you. And he's like, no, I wanted you to be better than me. So he's like, you know, without this suit, I'm nothing. He's like, well, then that's, then that's probably the reason why you don't need it then. If you think, you know, if you're nothing without it. So, 
Um, so yes, he gave him back his suit, and he was no longer. I guess he lied and said he was lying to everybody about an internship or whatever. But uh, oh yes, before that happened, um, they were in Washington, and the girl of his dreams and his classmates were in the elevator. And of course, he was, he tried to build some momentum to break the glass to get in, but he used his wings and glided over the helicopter to the window and webbed the, you know, shot a web to the elevator, got all the people out, saved all the lives, including the girl of his dreams. So, but yeah, that was before the boat incident where Iron Man had to come in. So, but yeah. Uh, so, of course, then he started using his old suit with his uh, old web shooters and stuff like that. He was hitting underneath a locker. You know, I'll, you had to, you know, so uh, let's see what else. Oh, yeah. Later on, you find out that the vulture was Peter Parker's, uh, I can't remember that girl's name, her crush, his crush that he had on his crush or I guess one of the most popular high school girls or whatever. It turns out that his crush was was the daughter of the vulture. <laughs> so you find that later on. Everybody was very surprised. So, of course, he threatens him, uh... Tells him not to interfere, otherwise he'll kill him and those that he uh, love or loves, of course. So, and then, oh yes, during the boat there was a guy named Matt Gargan, whose alias is the Scorpion. So, I'm guessing they so they pretty much introduced the Scorpion in this film. So he doesn't have the Scorpion uniform yet, but yeah, he's his character is introduced, and I'm guessing in the next. Uh, Spider-Man film, the sequel, there, I guess the Scorpion will be the next villain. And then later on, the Vulture, and maybe the Shocker. But yeah, uh, so he didn't listen to the, what the, you know, what the Vulture was saying. Sorry, get back to the Vulture part. Yeah, this is like before the homecoming dance, so he was like, you know, he decided, okay, he kind of dished his crush, who was, who was a date for the homecoming dance, to, you know, suit up with his old Spider-Man suit and try and stop the Vulture. But then he was, inter you know, he was disrupted or intercepted by the Shocker, played by Joaquin Wambine, or Bokeem Wambine, uh, an actor best known for his roles in the big hit and caught up. So, uh, also, but yeah. So he was, a, you know, he kind of bested him for a little bit, and his friend Ned saved his life. So Spider-Man got the upper hand and wed the Shocker to a bus. So I'm pretty sure cops got him. But then he placed a tracker on the Vulture, and he hacked a he hacked a helicopter that was owned by sorry a plane that was owned by Tony Stark. You know, he was moving all his it was like moving day, and he was. They're, they were ditch, pretty much ditching the old Avengers facility and moving to a new one. So, but yeah, uh, Vulture kind of uh, he hijacked that plane, and then Spider Man came in, stopped him, of course, and saved his life because he was trying to get that crate of those little purple stones or whatever. But then you find out later on those were pretty much bombs. So. Yeah, that blew, you know, that, so luckily Spider-Man was able to stop him, apprehended the Vulture, webbed him up. Uh, then, of course, later on, um, <laughs> you know, uh, Iron Man thanks him, or sorry, Tony Stark thanks him, and offers him a new suit. So then he turns that down and decides, okay, he just do his own thing, so... You know, I'm guessing it was a test, but, you know, Tony Stark didn't argue with him. He was very proud of him. So he gave him back his suit later on. And then, of course, when he was wearing it, his Aunt May comes right behind him and says, what the, you know, of course, and it cuts. Oh, and then there was a post credit scene, of course, where Matt Gargan, who will become the Scorpion later on, runs into Adrian Toomes in a prison, tells him that, oh, 
that that spider guy, everybody, you know, him and him and his friend, some friends of his, wants a crack at him. And then he said that rumor has it you, that the vulture knows who he is. So then the vulture or Agent Toombs replies, saying that if he if he knew who he was, he'd be dead already. Turns out he he was lying though because one. You know he knew who he was, and then he didn't, you know, give him give him a name. He just he denied knowing his true identity, because of course he saved his life and his daughter, who was pretty much Peter Parker's crush. Oh, and then um, later on in the post credit scene, there was a a uh, Captain America little video thing, which I thought was kind of funny. And then in the end, he was like, "How many of these we got left?" So, but yeah. So yeah, I give the movie a ninety five percent, a nine point five out of ten, and a four point five out of five. So thought it was I thought it was good, you know. I just wish that they could introduce Carnage into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but I don't think that's a possibility at this point. But uh yeah, you know. I'm guessing they're going to do a Sinister Six later on. Uh, I don't know if they're going to do three Spider-Man films or four Spider-Man films, since Sony has rights to them. So, But yeah, uh, Spider-Man will return in a sequel, and of course, the Avengers Infinity War movies. So, But yeah, I thought it was pretty good. The special effects was good. The storyline was good. Um, fight, you know, fight scenes were good. So special effects, of course, cinematography, you name it. And of course, you know, I like the, I do like the diversity too. So, but uh, but yeah, that was pretty much it. So, I'm definitely going to see that again, and I do hope that they Sony will make more. And uh, oh, visit us and like us on Facebook. You know, in conclusion, of course. But yeah, um, we're also available on iTunes and the Google Play Music app.